was Strive Masiwa, African dollar billionaire on Netflix board. Zimbabwean-born telecoms tycoon and founder of Pan-African Telecoms heavyweight Econet group Strive Masiwa has taken a board seat at Netflix, underlining the Silicon Valley giant's ambitions on the continent of more than 1 billion people. Masiwa who fought murky politics and a legal jungle to win a license to set up a mobile phone network in the country of his birth in 1998, is the first African to join Netflix's highest decision-making body. His appointment, which was lauded by Netflix chair and co-CEO Reed Hastings as strategically important, comes at a time when the world's biggest streaming platform is jockeying for a stronger position in Africa's small but fast-growing video streaming market. His entrepreneurship and vision in building businesses across Africa and beyond will bring valuable insights and experience to our board as we work to improve and serve more members all around the world," Hastings said in a statement on Thursday. Masiwa brings a wealth of experience from Africa and abroad to Netflix. He serves on a number of international boards, including Unilever, the National Geographic Society and Asia Society, and on the global advisory boards of Bank of America, the Council on Foreign Relations in the U.S. Stanford University and the Prince of Wales Trust for Africa. He pursued his ambition of creating an Africa multinational champion with his Econet Group, which has operations and investments in 29 countries in Africa and Europe and more than 100 million subscribers. Netflix is at the forefront of bringing great entertainment from anywhere in the world to everyone in the world, and I look forward to working with the board and all stakeholders to continue its traditions of innovation and growth," Masiwa said in the statement. The appointment of Masiwa, whose company owns a controlling stake in SA's Liquid Telecom, is in line with Netflix's stated ambition to win more subscribers on the continent, where video streaming is still rare due to slower internet speeds and poverty. Netflix, with 195 million customers globally, has invested heavily in Africa and made efforts to extend its footprint on the continent and produce original programming. It has a couple of million subscribers in Africa, according to Digital TV Research, a London-based firm. Consultancy house Accenture Africa estimates that 5% to 8% of Netflix's $17 billion R177 BN, production budget is deployed on investment in original African programs. Who is Strive Masiwa? Mr. Strive Masiwa was born in 1961 he is the best renowned as the founder and director of the broadcast communications Econet Wireless and is one of Africa's richest men. He founded Econet in 1993 but not without sweat and blood, the Zimbabwean government was not having it. The government went against Mr. Masiwa in a landmark legal battle for almost five years. While today Econet is the largest telecommunications company in Zimbabwe with operations in Kenya and Burundi too, the company did not go to market until 1998. That was not the only war Mr. Masiwa, who is one of the wealthiest Africans had to fight with the government, as the publisher of Zimbabwe's only independent newspaper, The Daily News, he was confronted with the government and well, you win some you lose some and in 2003, Daily News was shut down by the government. At a net worth of over 1 billion US dollars, the owner of Econet Wireless, Mr. Strive Masiwa is one of the richest African men out there. A true entrepreneur knows not to put all their eggs in one basket and so, Mr. Masiwa has several business interests and investments in some of Africa's leading companies. He owns over half of the stakes in another private company called Liquid Telecom, which provides fiber optic and satellite services to telecom firms across all of Africa. His other assets include stakes in mobile phone networks in Burundi and Lesotho and investments in fintech and power distribution firms in Africa. Masiwa has also served as a member of numerous committees internationally including the Southern African Enterprise Development Fund, an appointment granted to him the U.S. former President Bill Clinton. In fact, Mr. Masiwa was featured on Time Magazine's Global Business Influential list back in 2002. Thanks for watching Africa Business Lane. Remember to subscribe and follow.